Hi, Andrew Bell, Abel Sim here, about to do a presentation of the Team Planner in Microsoft Project. So I'm going to open up a blank project and I'm going to set everything to automatically schedules, which is the usual thing I do, although we'll change that in a minute. And I'm going to enter in some tasks, task one, task two, task three, task four, task five. Now, task five, I'm going to make back to manual because we can see a difference in the team planner view. Uh, I'm then going to knit to the resource sheet. So I'm going to change the view to the resource sheet. And I'm going to add some resources, Sam, Alex, and Joe. Back to the Gantt chart view. OK, now two ways to get to the team planner. On the view tab, which is where I am now, team planner. Or, of course, um, it's about the team, so it's about resources. So resource tab and team planner. Now, there are four areas in the team planner. We have the resources and we have the tasks. Uh, we have the unassigned tasks down here. So what I can do is I can um, drag task one and assign it to Sam. And I can drag task two and assign it to Alex. And I can say task three is going to happen here on the uh, on the Friday with Sam. Um, but an important thing I can't do here is I can't actually get Sam and Alex working on task three. So I think this is a bit of a, a, a drawback from the team planner. But it does give me a clear view on my resources and what they're doing and when. Uh, so I've assigned some tasks. Uh, and I put um, task three um, over on Friday's date. Let's go back to the Gantt chart view and see what's happened. So there are my assignments, task one, Sam, task two, Alex, task three, Sam. Um, but a bit of a problem uh, from my viewpoint anyway, is that task three has uh, got a constraint on it. And the constraint is start no earlier than Friday. So I see this as a problem, dragging things around in the team planner, which is very tempting to do, uh, actually constrains tasks to dates. And it doesn't put any dependencies in. So we've got to be very careful when we do this. Now, I've already said that um, in the team planner, we can't assign two resources to one task. So I'm just going to do this uh, now. I'm going to add in Alex onto task one. Uh, and then go back to see the team planner. Now we can see Alex is over allocated. I've got him doing two tasks in task one. So yeah, good benefit of the team planner. We can see our over allocated resources. And I could take task one and drag it so that Alex is doing it on a separate day. Uh, in fact, to demonstrate this, let's, uh, let's push this all the way over to next Monday. Uh, go back to the Gantt chart view. And uh, now we can see that um, actually, you know, Sam's going to do his work uh, on Wednesday and Alex is going to do the work on Monday. It splits the task. So it's not clear exactly what's happening here. Um, and I think the team planner is uh, a different version of the resource usage view, which again lists the resources and then shows the hours that they work on the tasks. And of course, uh, this is the assignment for Sam working on task one, double click it. And again, there is a problem with the team planner. That if I double click Alex, I get resource information. Um, what I've done here is I've got uh, Sam working on task one and I've got Alex working on task one. But there's no way to get to assignment information here. If I double click, I get task information. So Team Planner, uh, love it or loathe it, it came new in Project 2010. Uh, I'm not so keen, don't like it, don't use it, but it might be a visual way of having a look at the resources and their over allocations. Just be careful when you're dragging around tasks because it constrains things. Gives the appearance of adding dependencies, um, but there are no dependencies. So if I put Alex in there, you know, I've constrained those tasks to happen on those dates and there are no dependencies. So there you are. That's my opinion. Uh, I don't like the team planner. <laughs> Thanks for watching.